My name is Charles Munyoki and I am one of the founders of Kipeto Energy with my co-partners Dr. Kenneth Namunje and Simon Macharo. And we did this as an SPV from a company that we began which is called Craft Skills Wind Energy International which gave birth to Kipeto Energy. And at the time there was a lot of uh, outages in the country, the country was facing a lot of um, shortage of power and we, so, we sat down the three of us and we thought why can't we do something bigger that will allow us to feed into the national grid and that's how we began thinking around. This project is 100 megawatt. We have installed a GE turbines, 1.7 GE turbine, each producing 1.7 megawatt and there are six of them. So in total we are talking of uh, 100 mega, 102 megawatt in total capacity production. But just to understand what that is in terms of the numbers, in terms of impact into the economy, we are saying that this turbines or this 100, wind, 100 mega wind farm can power more than 250,000 homes depending on the rates which uh, every home uses. But on average, uh, more than 250,000 homes can be powered directly by, wind, uh, by Kipeto Wind Farm. The community benefited largely and do going to benefit largely on lease payments on their passes of land. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two is we do share revenues with the community or with the landowners who we have installed the turbines. Because the turbines are on individual homes or individual land owned by the landowners. And therefore, every turbine generates revenue or generates uh, electricity, which we set to the national grid, which is Kenya Power and Lighting. And therefore, the revenues that we generate, the landowners get a percentage of that revenue. And that gets direct to them. And it's a big, big benef beneficiary or benefit for them as a community. And then the other uh, benefit to the community is we set out what you call um, a community development trust. A community development trust is we thought of a larger way for the community to benefit without necessarily having to come and do a project, uh, not a CSR project in the community. And we thought why not do or why not develop a trust? And that trust that we developed was was for the benefit of the community and the larger group of people who stay in this area who are not individual landowners. And for that matter, we thought 5% would be a good number of the revenues that are generated by the company and that is distributable to the shareholders and that can be given back to the community. My name is uh, Stephen Moiku and uh, I'm the director to the Kipeto Community Development Trust to make sure that uh, as the company is undertaking its uh, activities in business, it is also providing essential services basic needs, water, education, healthcare, roads and, and things like that to the community. So we are working hand in hand, we are using models that are participatory, uh, we are trying to make sure that we get the best value for our money, but most importantly is to make sure that in every area that Kipeto Energy is working, the community around it is developed, is, um, is, uh, is stable, we have continued to employ people from the local community because we do understand for this project to succeed, the integration between us as a project and the community is our success factor number one. The community involvement is what has given us the greatest benefit or the greatest uh, standing as a project to have um, an impact in this uh, in this area because if you don't involve the community then they will become people who are not impacting positively to the community and therefore even today we continue to give the community the first priority in terms of jobs that are coming in terms of opportunities that are coming and then the community begins uh, becomes the biggest beneficiary so to speak for any assignment any job that is coming from this project